Hello YouTube, it's Nicolas speaking. Thank you for joining me in another super cool and exciting tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how you can create the completely functional WordPress website. The idea for this project comes from Avnish and his channel Easy Tutorials. He created fully responsive multi-page website designed step by step with HTML and CSS. And one month later, I've got the idea. I created only the home page. It's not the 100% the same, but is very similar. Here we have the logo and the menu. This is the extra menu from my last tutorial, and I'm going to delete it in a few seconds. Here is the actually transparent header, hero section with some uh, text and button. Down there we have title and subtitle, three columns in one row with nice hover, background shadow and CSS. Another few pictures in columns with background, background line. Again the, the three images with border radius, some text. Here I have the testimonial section, the break section with background image, some overlay, text and the button, and about us uh, title with some lorem ipsum text, with few social icons, and last line says that this project made by made with love by Easy Tutorials, and WordPress design by NN Web. Okay. Also, this project, this website will be one hundred percent mobile responsive. Main goal for this project is to show you how you can create the pretty much pretty good and solid website without almost without any line of code. But if you know code, that will be the great plus for you, the great advantage. Okay, before we start, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to smash the bell. If you have any questions, write down in the comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Easy Tutorials channel and watch three-part video series if you are interested in HTML and CSS on Avnish channel. Okay, without further ado, let's get going. If you are new in WordPress, you need to know a few things. For example, how you can install WordPress on your local service or how you can install WordPress with cPanel. I don't, for now, I don't have the tutorial for cPanel installation, but I have tutorial how you can create WordPress installation on your local machine. I'll put links in the description. Let me show you which plugins we are going to need. From front end of your website, go here and click on dashboard. Then in plugins, and you are going to need this Editor Plus by Extendify plugin and this Ultimate add-ons for Gutenberg. Those two are pretty much optional. You don't need it. Okay. These plugins you can find if you click here on Plugins and click on this Add New button. This is WordPress Plugins Repository. Here just type the name and install the plugin and don't forget to activate it. Just like me. Now. Let's go to the pages and I'm going to create the page. Let's type the, uh, the title, title, new website or add a form or whatever you want. Down there, let's change some Astra settings. I forgot to mention that I'm using the Astra theme, so feel free to Use the same one or just use whatever you want. Here, let's go first on sidebar and choose no sidebar. Here, check the full width stretch layout, disable the title and enable the header, transparent header. Click on publish. Now, let's go and see our page. It's pretty much empty. Okay, but now let's go and edit it. Click on edit page. This is the Gutenberg editor. 
and so famous the block editor. For this tutorial, I'm going to use only the Gutenberg editor with this, this plugin Ultimate Add-ons for Gutenberg. Let me show you. You already saw that in the plugins. This, this one. Okay. Now let's add the first block. Click on this add block sign and click here to browse all. Down there you can find your uh, blocks but we need this one cover i'm going to use the images from my library also all of these image images you can find on avnish channel and there you can download it and also if you see the duplicates for those images for example this one this one um, i have done some image optimization in size and width for your images because when you are working with WordPress it is essential that your images are optimized. This is the original one, user 2, and weight for this is 159 kilobytes and optimized version is 93 kilobytes only. Also I forgot to do that for these two images. They have the, the same weight it's very important to do some image optimization wherever you're using the WordPress or just pure HTML and CSS for your project. Okay, you can do that. You can do the optimization, for example, with tiny PNG tool, or you can use the Photoshop and so on. Okay, let's ch uh, choose our image, background image. And here for this block, I'm going to use full width for our image or wide width. Let's first check the wide width. And there I'm going to paste a few words. We need that we have the paragraph. When you want to add another chunk of text or another block in this cover block, just click the enter. Look. Where is your cursor? Paste the text, choose the alignment to the center, and we need some button or one button actually. Click on plus and type the buttons. And here type visit us to know more. Okay, now click beside your button to select the complete block and here justify content center okay now i think this is the complete but i don't think so here let's uh, change the position of our image let's left alignment it will be the 50 percent and for top i think 93 okay minimum height of uh, cover will be 800 pixels okay we can remove this block there now those settings are from one of our plugins just skip it for now and click on update now let's go and see our page and here we have some extra menu let's go and delete it go to customizer then go to astra header builder and delete our primary menu also if you don't know how you can build this kind of menu you can watch my previous tutorial and there you all uh, you can see how you can add the logo for your website. And if you don't know how to use more in-depth header and photo builder, I will put the links down there in the description and you can catch it up. Okay, click here on publish, and then click on X, X actually, and we have our header section. But let me see the original one.
let's paste only our domain it is almost the same but we need to change we need to change this weight for our title here and put some space between this button and subheading okay now let's go and actually let's edit our page from here let's click on this title and we are going to add this specific class for our h1 actually you can do your custom css here right away but i'm going to use some different approach okay let me check the name for my class it is the home page and here after this let's make some space or let's add it here let's remove those punctuation mark this punctuation mark and home page is our class let's click here on update and now we are going to customize our page and go to additional CSS. Here we have, actually we have all of our CSS, so I'm not going to delete it, just I'm going to show you. For example, for the home page, I just set the different font width. Also, I have added the, for the specific classes for Gutenberg, I added the, I removed the margin, or so on for example this is the margin for h3 i add my other margin slash bottom for this my dash one class those class this class is from i think bootstrap classification this is the background color for the the structure with the box shadow i'm going to show you that later okay and now let's go and let me go to our page here and now we are going to add our title our title and subtitle okay let's go here click on this add block and here type the heading let's paste the text let's change the alignment and we need i'm going to add another paragraph with this dummy text again let's center it okay now let me check my original design and for this title i'm going to add this custom heading class and also i think this is good our paragraph doesn't have the additional class let's click on update and see our page okay but we need some room here let me check my css we removed the margin bottom okay let's go and click on inspect element this tool is very very important and there what we have h2 let's add for example let's add the margin top for this h2 let's type margin top for example 20 pixels okay or 40 pixels or 60. Hmm. 60 will be good so let's copy this margin from here and add it there entry content h2 click on publish now check our website 
now it's much better let's close this one and now this is the customizer for our new website page okay after that we need in this section these three columns okay let's go there click on uh, here to plus add block and we need now we need columns Okay, click the, on the columns block and we need three columns equal size. Okay, in the first column, let's add the heading and here type the intermediate. Okay, change the alignment. You can set the heading to be heading level three. Okay. And we need that. We need to add some dummy text. Click on to add a paragraph and change the alignment. Okay, now let's click here or go there and check the first column. You see, if you click here on outline, we have the columns complete block, and this column contains one two and three columns and in the first one we have heading and paragraph okay click the first one click here on options and check duplicate okay now click here on duplicate and click here and remove block and also click there and remove block now let's change the title, degree, and this program is post, post graduation. Okay, now click on update, view our page. We have some problem, but we are going to resolve that, don't worry. Okay, now let's go to outline and check the columns. We need to group the columns, so click here on three dots and click group and there click on wide width. Click on update and let's refresh our page. Now it's much better. And we need to add some room between those, those uh, titles and text. Okay. We can use the, I think, let's make our own class. For example, let's click here on intermediate, go down there and type the advanced. And here type our own class, for example, padding Y, let's say three or no padding margin margin y3 let's copy it from this title to this one and this one so we paste our classes there there and there click on update now let's go on customizer and on additional css and here Let's paste our class. And add margin bottom, for example, 20 pixel. Okay. Or 40. Click on publish, refresh our page. Hmm, it's not working. Let's go click on inspect. Entry content. Oh, here we have this problem. We need to remove this class entry content with margin bottom of minus 18 pixels. Okay. So go to CSS and remove. 
this click on publish and now refresh our page and we have some space okay now let's see our customizer and we need to add this color so let's go on customizer and see where it is this here we have the custom background color class with background color with padding padding and border radius we need to copy this background class and let me see where we have to paste it okay let's paste it here let's go on outline and we need to paste this class on for each of these column this one is first let's go here and paste it down there those e p l u s classes is from our plugin so don't pay attention on this so again go to outline click this column here paste our class and there there also let's click on update and refresh our page and we have our color also we already add the hover state for this nice shadow on hover let me show you this is the background color and hover hover state i created this kind of shadow with i think css generator and i only added this transition to be 0.3 second let me show you what's going on without that property see we don't have that slow slow motion effect not slow motion and slow shadow effect with this you can see the difference okay let's see the next section again we have this title let's copy it from down there from top from top here actually let's click on duplicate and we can to move it just like this and you can use the control shift plus d shortcut that you don't need to do that if you don't let me copy some words here and this text is pretty much the same click on update let's refresh our page we have our new title there okay now we need to add the next section those three these three images we need to add the next section these three images and let's go here and i'm thinking we can copy the complete section move two steps down and here we can remove our additional classes okay let's remove it okay click on update also let's remove this heading and the text actually also here not complete this title and this paragraph no when you make error just undo your last step or a few steps maybe this undo don't work let's click on update and refresh our page okay never mind i'm going to duplicate this third column 
our first part is to add the title so we my my bad let's duplicate it and move move it right there here let's type the london let's click on update just for experimental purposes okay now again let's duplicate it let's move it here add the new york new york and duplicate it one more time move it there sorry hmm what's going on yep move it right here and third town is Washington okay now we need to add the images so click here on plus type image go to media library and choose this image or that one with less with less weight click on select okay now let's go here for the new york do the same go to media library let's click here and also in styles thanks one uh, thanks to i think ultimate add-ons for gutenberg plugin you can change the shape for your image default is round one and you can set the blob one two four and so on okay let's stick to the default okay and for the third one let's do the same again let's click on image media library and choose this in dc.png okay now click on update refresh our page and we have our images but now we have we need to add those underlines okay for that here let's add another block for example we are at in the first column and in that column we are going to add to click click on image block and on those, this these three dots and click insert before and here we are going to add a little bit of html so type span with class of underline okay let's copy this text actually we need to add we need to add the html block and here type our html and we need to remove this paragraph block my bad okay let's click on update and refresh our page we don't have anything why is that because for our span we need to add additional class called h3 dash underline okay uh, let me check okay 
and here and let's click on inspect element we have error here you see we need to we need to add double quotes is that a problem huh i don't think so let's go here and try to make it underline my spell spelling is correct and now it's working okay and then our title our title it has the specific class so the london title it has specific class called h3 minus underline click on update refresh our page what's going on here h3 underline huh. margin bottom let's remove this margin and type I think minus 20 pixels. Now it's much, much better. We need to change this class entry content. And just copy it. Go to our CSS and paste it in there. And we need to add margin bottom minus 20 pixels click on publish refresh our customizer and our page also now it is much much better i think so let's go on customizer again uh, we have a problem not here, not there. What's going on? Yes, we have problems here. I know why. Because it, this is the same classes here and there. So we need to change those titles to be H2. And here. And there. And one more. Now click on update. Now refresh our page. What? Uh, remove my slash tree class. And let's uh, remove it. Now click on update. Nothing happens. But why? We have margin top for our H2. Let's add the specific classes but yes yeah, specific class with okay from customizer i remove this margin top of 60 pixels but here we are going to add the custom class for this title this first title actually okay here and in advanced edition class let's add margin my margin this is a custom class let's click on update now let's go to customizer and here paste our class okay now let's refresh our page now it is much 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 better 
okay. And also we need to add a little bit space here. So again, on intermediate, first let's delete this CSS here and change and add the additional class because I want all the hours, all the CSS we have on one place. Okay, here let's type margin y, for example, two. Let's copy and it also here and there. Okay, click on update. Now go to customizer and type margin two, for example, margin bottom 70 pixels click on publish hmm. never mind click on important and now it's working so we have all we need Sorry for this little inconvenience. So we have, though, yeah, we need to change these settings there. Let's go on customizer. And first, let's refresh. Let's click on publish. Let's refresh our customizer. So in additional CSS, let's see when we remove the H2, what's going on? Okay, we need to do entry content H2 here, but entry content H3 also we need that for this effect, but instead of minus 20, let's add minus 50, 15 pixels or 18 maybe or 17. Okay, click on publish. Now let's change this class. What's going to happen? Nothing. And this one, what's going to happen? Nothing, but let's leave this one here. Click on publish. Okay, now we need to add this line for these two columns. Go to edit page. Now we need to copy this span, duplicate it and move it here. Let's see where, okay, put it down there and move one step up. Okay, let's do the same for the last column. Just move it in the last column here, the third one and move up. Okay, click on update, refresh our page, voila. Also, we need classes for round, for round corners, class actually. Let's go on customizer and see which class is that. Let's change some, let's uh, remove those unnecessary room. And we have border radius for ng overlay class. Let's copy this class and let's paste that, that class for all of these images. Let's go on advance. And here we need to paste our ng overlay class. Let's do the same for the middle image. And for the last image, click on update. Let's refresh our page and we have the borders. Okay, this is good. Let's remove this position. We don't need that line. Everything is the same. So the Next, huh. I think everything is good. The next section, 
is this one. And before that, we have this title and subtitle. So what we have learned so far, we can copy it. Click on duplicate and duplicate. Then move it down there and this one. Just move it. Okay. Let's change the text. Okay. And also we need three columns. So let's copy this group and duplicate. Oh no. I think this is a mistake. Remove block. Need to copy the whole group actually, not the inside column container, just whole group. Click on duplicate and move down there. Okay. Here, before that, we need to add those uh, the three images. This is very easy. Click on those three dots, click on insert, insert before. And here, let's add the image. The image block, let's use the media library and change this picture from library actually. Okay, we need to remove this block, we don't need it. Let's change the, the text. Paste, set heading to be H4 and bold. Okay, and here we have only almost two complete complete row with different alignment. Okay, let's update it. And then let's see our page. And also we need to remove our uh, custom class. Okay, let's click on outline, click on column, on advance and change the background color. Now let's again click on this column, duplicate it. This one we can remove it and this one also. But let's duplicate this one. And all we need to do is to change the icons, uh, images actually. Open media library, choose this image or that one. Here, let's paste different text. And this image, let's go replace it with, let me see, two, 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 with that one. Okay, yes. And of course, let's change the class, the title. Okay, click on update. Now we can see our page so far. Logo, the menu, this is transparent header, hero image, title, subtitle, our tiers of program of levels, actually. Again, title, subtitle, three columns. Okay, so far so good. Let's see the next section. Again, the title. What we have learned so far, may I ask you again, we can duplicate our stuff. Okay, duplicate and move it down there. Let's copy the text for title. And we need to add this widget, or not widget, this part here with testimonials. So. We can do that thanks to UAG plugin. Okay. 
save our work so far. And let me see. Now we have to add the another block. Okay, click here on plus sign and choose the testimonial. Okay, here let's change the number of testimonials. It's three, it's okay. Columns will be two. In carousel, let's add the 2000 milliseconds more. Transition, transition speed is okay. For image, let's add for the first one, let's add this, let's add this nice lady. For the second one, this guy. And third one, let's add the NN Web Mascoti, this Lego guy. Okay. Now we have image position, style, and size. Take your time and see all of these values and settings. You can experiment with it. But for now, I just need to change the background settings for one, let's set testimonial. Let's change the color and I'm going to add the custom color. Also, I'm going to change the row between the testimonials, the 15. Okay. And for the border, I'm going to add border radius to be five to get some rounded edges. Okay. Click on update and view our page. We have problem here. Here it is the full bit. Oh, Houston, we have a problem. So I'm going to change it. Let's click on complete block. We need to group it. And then we need to add the wide width. Okay. Then click on update and here. So now it is much better. So if you want to remove this space here, let me see what we can do. Hmm. Let's see, let's see. For example, we can remove the, the padding, no, and box sizing, no. Hmm. This division, it has the great margin. So let's change it from here. Actually, let's select the group and go there to see the margin. All slice, sides, advanced, top margin, only 50 pixels, 50%, so that's huge, pixels minus 60 or 80. Now let's click on update and see our page. Now it is much, much better. And all that, thank you to, let me see, let me see. Thank you to Editor Plus by Extendify. Thank you guys for this extraordinary plugin. Okay. So the next settings, next section actually is this break section here. So let's go to our click there add the, let me see, cover. Yes, choose the image from media library. This one, okay. Now, here let's type the title. Change it to be the heading actually. Center it there. Type large size of 36 pixels. Go on typography here and change the line to be 60. Okay. And beneath that, let's add the button. The button with text of contact us. Okay. 
let's click here and center this button not just five center okay and then 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 click on update let's see our page so far and now it is good we have our button our text let's add some room between this text and button and change the line height okay click here and go to i think line go to typography let's type the 50 and change the margin margin bottom in pixels and add 20 click on update hmm. let's make more room okay 60 click on update and now it is much better okay we also we can change our image a little bit if you click on our on our color block and move our circle on the top now click on update let's see our work so far we have it okay also we need some font weight let me show you another way go on typography weight bold or semi bold or ultra bold let's stick to the bold okay what's the next section our next section is the footer area about us uh, about us title and this subtitle so let's copy here let's copy our title move it down there and copy our subtitle hmm. not group what never mind let's copy this subtitle here and move it down there one more time okay let's copy the text okay center it and now we need to add this underline underline there okay oh sorry this is not the regular uh, title we need here we need to add insert before we need to add another block this is the heading but advanced heading okay that heading comes by default with this this button there this uh, underline so let's copy about us text and this alarm ipsum text okay so we can remove those two blocks okay and down there we need to add the social icons so click here to add block and type on social icons but social icons child social share yes and here we need to add few icons click on plus you can change type or twitter and change the icon this one for example again plus change the pinterest and here you can change the icon not w e w but e pinterest and the linkedin click on plus uh, linkedin 
and change the icon. This one. Okay. Now we can, we need to change the color. Icon color will be custom color. With this value, let me show you. Click your custom hash d7a056. Okay. But we need different colors for all of these images. Actually, click on custom color, paste for Facebook, paste for Pinterest, paste for you know, Twitter and Pinterest. Okay. And also we need to hover color to be changed. Icon cover color, for example, this gray one. Okay, let's click on LinkedIn, cover, hover, Twitter. Mm, no, let's move it. Click on uh, hover, choose the color, ha, huh. and Facebook, hover, color. Click on update. Okay, go to our page. This, here are uh, those are our icons. Let's add a little bit space and change the size. Okay. In advance. Okay. Let's click here and select complete this um, complete block. Layout horizontal or vertical. Stack on desktop blah, blah, blah. size. 20. Background size, border radius, blah, blah, blah. Okay. And let me see how we can add the, a little bit padding. Huh. Go here. Let's refresh. Yeah. We need to add some margin bottom for the previous element. Click here and 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 let's go on spacing. Separator bottom spacing no. Heading bottom spacing no. Hmm. We need to add this margin manually. Let me see. To, 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 to margin bottom. Let's use this. Let's use this class mi dash two. And why actually? Select the complete block. Go to advance, and in advanced classes, click on paste our class and click on update. Hmm. It's nothing happened. Sorry. We need to paste this cl um, that class to this block because this is the settings for margin bottom. Now let's click. And we have some room. Okay. And now we need to add the, this last line made with love by Easy Tutorials. So this is, I think, the paragraph. Okay, made with here. We need to add the heart icon. Here it is, heart by Easy Tutorials. Okay, let's copy the color for from this social icon custom color copy and change it design paste okay now let's align our text click on update enter voila and now let's add a little more room after this so Let's go here. 
and let's change, let's make MI4 class. MI4 with margin bottom of 40 pixel. Click on publish, okay? And here, let's add MI4. Click on update. Let's refresh our page and voila, we have our footer. Also, you can add some space down there, but you don't need to. Now, again, let's refresh our page, our work so far, and see it from the top. We have logo, the menu here, transparent header, hero image, title, three columns. Our images with nice underline, our facilities, our testimonial, this break section with text and uh, contact us button, and about us information with social icons and made with allowed by each tutorials and WordPress designed by N and Web. Okay, guys, we are at the end of our tutorial. This is, um, I think, the, the longest tutorial on this channel at the moment. So I hope that you enjoyed. Before the end, subscribe to my channel, smash the bell, of course. If you have any questions, write down in the comments. Again, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.